Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a formula in Salesforce to check whether the date is less than two day or not. And we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic edition. So let's proceed and firstly see how we can check whether the date is less than two day or not. In Salesforce, if you want to check it, you have to use the comparison of pre operators that is less than or less than equal to to compare the two dates. So let's proceed and learn with an example to check a date whether it is less than two day or not in Salesforce Lightning. Here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a Lightning Edition. If you are not in a Lightning one, firstly move to the Lightning Edition. After that you have to click on the object manager that is located on the navigation bar on a top. After clicking it, you will get the list of all the objects that are available in Salesforce. Now here we have a quick find search box on the right side. Here you have to search for the object in which you want to use this concept or you want to create the formula in which object. So here I am going to show you the example for the contract. So here I search for contract and click on it. After clicking it, it redirect to the contract page on which left side we have option of fields and relationship. I click on this option and here it shows me all the fields. Now it gives me a new button on the top right side because I want to create a new field for creating the formula. So as I click on the new one, it redirect to the page which asks me to choose the field type by storing your information. So as I am going to create a formula, I need a formula type. So here I click on the formula radio button because I want the field type as a formula and click on the next button to proceed to the next. So as I proceed to the next step and the steps it asks me to add a field label. So here I enter the field label as a validation. So as I click on the field name box, it automatically populated. So when I scroll down, it asks me to choose the formula return type in which uh, the formula gives you the output. So as I'm going to check the validation, I decided to select the text one. So I click the radio button next to the text and click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now this time it asks me to enter your advanced formula for checking that the whether the date is less than two day or not according to your requirement. So here I am going to create a one scenario that shows you the concept of whether the date is less than two day or not and act accordingly. So just a second I will enter my formula first. So here I enter my formula and the functions that I use I selected from this function section and uh, here we have all function categories drop down which shows us multiple types of a function. So for inserting and less than operator, I use this button insert operator and from here I insert the operator and for inserting the field such as end date, I use this insert field option from here I choose the field type as end date. So now I am going to explain this formula. So here I am using the function that determines that the contract end date which is called as end date field here is less than the current date or not. So for getting a current date, we have to use the two day function that is given by the sales force to check to get the two day state. So here I am checking that the end date is less than two day or not. So if it is, it prints the text contract time period is over. Please renew it. So this is returned. If the date is not less than two day, so it shows you that the contract date contract is valid for so it uh, here we use the concatenation of op operator to combine these two sentences and here I use the text function which subtracts the end date from the two day and I again use the con concatenate operator and use the days basically it returns the contract is valid for the x days or where the x represent the days remaining till the contract day date end. So after that, I move down and here I have a check syntax button. So I click on it to check whether that is formula have some error or not. So this formula is correct. That's why it shows that there is no syntax error here. After that, it asks me to add a description or help text or even I can handle the blank field. 
if you want you can add these things otherwise you can click on the next button located on the top and move to the next step so as i click on the next one it moves to the next step that is establish a field level security here i have to choose the profiles to whom i want to grant grant the edit access of this field so if you doesn't select any file it will not grant the edit access of the fields to the particular profile so i want to grant this access to all the profiles so i click on the visible check box that is located on the top and click on the next button and proceed to the next step so as i click on the next now this time i am on the add page layout page so here it asks me to choose the page layout to whom you want to add this field so here we have only one page layout name that is contract layout and by default it is selected so i simply click on the save button to save my field which is of a formula type and that checks whether the date is less than 2 day or not so as i click on the save it successfully create a formula field with this scenario so now i am going to check whether it is working or not for this i click on my app launcher and from here i search for the contract so it shows me a contracts under a item so i click on the contracts item it redirect to the new page where it shows me all the contract either you can open the contract or edit the details or you can create a new contract as per your choice so here i am going to open the contract so you can see that here is the detail section so here you can see that i enter the start date as a 2nd of august 2023 and here i enter the end date as a 1st of january 2024 because i set the contract term month as a 5 so it calculated the end date automatically and it shows in the validation period that contract is valid for 127 days so with this we have learned to check whether the how to create a formula that checks whether the date is great less than two day or not so now we will proceed and learn to create this concept for the classic version also so here i click on my profile and from here i get the option of a switch to a salesforce classic so i click on it it redirect me to the classic edition and from here i have to click on the setup option that is given on a top so as i click on the setup one it moves to the page and here i get the option of a build section on a left side of the page and here i have a customized drop down when i click on a customized one it shows me all the objects that is available in salesforce so now from multiple objects i have to choose one object on which i want to create the formula that checks the whether the date is less than two day or not so here i I'm going to uh, use this scenario on the products object and i click on this field option as i am going to create a new field for creating the formula so as i click on new one i scroll down and here i have a new button on a product custom fees and relationship section so when i click on a new it asks me to choose the field type uh, by defining that which type of data we you want to contain so here i choose the formula 1 as i'm going to create the formula that checks whether the two day date is less than or not so when i click on the next button it move to the next step and here it ask me to enter the field label so here i enter the field label as a extra charges so here i click on so here i enter the extra charge as a field name now it's time to choose the return type so as we are dealing with the charges it automatically return the result in a currency type so as so i select the radio button next to the currency now on, by scrolling down it had one option of options it asked me to choose the decimal places by default its value is 2 i remain as it is and click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in this step we have to enter the formula that uh, whether the date is less than 2 day or not and according to it Uh, create some condition and apply so let's enter the formula first so here i enter my formula i choose the function from this function section i use the operator from this insert operator button and insert the fields from this insert field option or a button so here i use the if statement or if function that checks that whether the payment due date is less than 2 day or not if it is it uh, 
it returns the number of days remaining until the payment due date using the formula and we multiply it with the 5 to calculate the extra charges or if it is not it returns the zero after that i click on this check syntax button to check whether the formula has some error or not it doesn't have any error you can add description help text or handle the blank fields if you want if you doesn't want you can click on the next button and move to the next step now in this step you have to choose the profile to whom you want to grant the edit access of this field so i click on this visible checkbox located on the top as i want to give edit access of this field to all the profiles now i click on the next button and proceed to the next step and here i have to choose the page layout on which i want to add this field and last i click on the save button to save the formula so once i save this formula field that check whether the date is less than today or not is successfully saved so now it's time to check whether it is working or not i click on this plus tab to get all the products all the items of the sales force now i search for the product so here is my product item let's open this one now here i am going to enter the payment due date as 26 and purchase date as this and here i enter the price as this and click on the save so you can see that it adds the extra charge of rupees 5 because the payment due date is less than 2 day so with this we have successfully learned how to create a formula field in salesforce lightning as well as a classic addition that checks whether the date is less than today or not so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day